Hello everyone! So, I've got some exciting things to show you today. Um, so the thing I've been working on for the past couple of days is uh, task tooling, or a task tool I guess, <laughs> for uh, Rayman Legends PC. Um, I've been wanting to task Rayman Legends forever, but I was sort of expecting one of the emulators that can run this game. That being Semu, Yuzu, Xenia, and RPCS3. <laughs> like those four emulators can run this game, and none of them have task tools yet, um, if they ever will. So instead of waiting on them, I decided to just take it on, on myself, using the PC version with all the knowledge I have on the PC version, to try to get it to work. Now, obviously, it's not done yet, there's no recording or playback yet, but I've at least got frame advance, and I also have um, different task style input. Yeah, I, you, you see what I mean by that. Um, so, down here, we have the task viewer. Um, nothing too crazy yet. Um, I've gotten the buttons here, but none of these really work yet. Uh, but, the input viewer does. So as you can see, the task viewer does respond to my analog stick inputs, as well as my button inputs, as you can see on the, uh, the buttons on the bottom there, on the bottom left. And of course, that's nothing too crazy. Um, I can't really control the game by clicking on these at the moment. Uh, the main reason is because the game pauses itself when I when I leave the window. Like, it just pauses itself automatically, and there's nothing I can really do about that right now. I try looking into it, but I just can't keep the game from pausing itself. That's a, been a surprisingly hard hurdle to overcome. So, in the meantime, I've decided to try to make the task input tool completely usable on the controller itself. Um, so if I were to, uh, let's see, before I actually touch on that, I actually want to show off frame stepping. So if, if I hit my hotkey here, the game is paused right now. And as you can see, when I hit the arrow key, it goes by frame, by frame, by frame, by frame. Yeah, it's just frame stepping, basically. So if I hold forward, I go forward for one frame, hold back. But as you can see, the camera isn't paused or anything. Um, there's actually something I want to look into <laughs> to fix because the game itself isn't actually paused. It's just the game physics that are paused. That can lead to some issues where the camera can load stuff in because it moves to uh, triggers sooner. Because there are triggers in the game that are based on where the camera is. So you, you definitely don't want the camera to be free moving like this. Um, but anyway, as you can see, if I hold forward... Hold back, hold forward, hold back, hold forward. I guess it's just task inputs, frame by frame. Frame perfect inputs. You would not normally be able to do this in any capacity. But I was about to get to this earlier, is when I enable uh, task inputs here, there's a new style of controls where um, instead of my, the uh, task analog input viewer um, being one-to-one -one with my analog stick, I actually control the uh, the position of this dot with the analog stick as if it was like a character or something. As you can see, I'm, I'm just like moving it as if it was just a character inside a little box, basically. And I'm moving into the uh, regions where it controls the character. This would allow me to precisely set a specific location, like, um, for example, let's, let me pause the game here. Set it to 0.75. And 0.75 is the threshold where the character starts walking in that direction, which depending on whether it's negative or positive, when your dot is on the very top here. It's actually a little bit sooner. I think this is around 0.6 if the uh, if the dot was a little lower, as you can see by this green um, area. it's It actually is sort of like a trapezoid where it kind of tapers in the higher or lower it goes. And anything in the green is what controls your horizontal movement for your character on the ground or in the air. So if your analog input isn't in the green zone at all, your character will not move side to side. But yeah, 0.75 is the threshold here. And I've stopped moving my analog stick. It is completely centered on my controller, but the task viewer has it at that precise point because I moved it there with my analog stick, if that makes any sense. So if I were to go um, next frame, the uh, character starts to walk in that direction. But if I were to move it slightly more to the right, like so, it stops walking. I've also got um, the uh, buttons on toggle mode now, when I have the uh, task input mode enabled. So when I press the A button, uh, it stays on until I press it again, instead of how it normally acts where you just have to hold the button for it to work. 
Now it's just a toggle. So if I were to keep the toggle on and go to the next frame, character jumps. If I let go for the next frame and then press it again, the character will fly as soon as possible, which is when he stops rising in the wind. So right about, uh, should be about now, supposedly. It should be, no? There we go, okay. Maybe I pressed it too soon, I don't know. Very strange. Let's go and move the character to the right here as I bring him up. And turn off the float. And you keep going frame by frame by frame. Let's go center the analog stick. And there we go, we've landed. Now, as far as like, save states and such that's probably never gonna truly happen because of how windows games usually work um you can't just save everything that's going on in memory and then just put it back when you want to load a state that's not it doesn't really work like that um when you are running natively in windows um you'd have to use linux and run like windows in some sort of virtual box or whatever i'm not sure how it all works um but that's how you would have to do it probably in order to have even a remote chance of having a safe state system for the PC game. Um, but I've been thinking of the possible compromise that's not perfect, but it's something where, um, like it's obviously not implemented yet. I would have to implement recording first, but a recording and playback. But instead of safe states, um, I'd probably have a button that would reload the level and then play back the task inputs up to your defined point of where you wanted to save or load a state. Um, Obviously, they aren't load or save states. They are just defined points where the game would stop the uh, task playback and then pause it and then let you resume recording from there, if that makes any sense. That's the idea. Obviously, you'd have to wait for the uh, task inputs to uh, play through the level before you can start recording again from that point. But that's the best idea I've got so far without any sort of uh, complications. Um, speaking of playback, though, uh, of course, I haven't implemented playback yet, but based on testing... Uh, I've been able to keep the uh, tasks tool in sync with the game pretty consistently. As long as I'm not moving around a task tool like this, that which will like lag with the task tool. As long as I'm not moving around like that, it tends to stay in sync pretty well. Which means that task playback should be pretty consistent as long as the level doesn't actually have RNG based stuff in it. Um, which there are a few levels that, as far as I'm, I know, is true RNG, and I don't know how to work around that yet. I haven't tested it fully yet, but based on what I have tested so far, it seems like that's how it's going to work out. So I'm crossing my fingers on that. Uh, but yeah, that's all I really wanted to show. It's a work in progress. It's getting there. Um, the main thing I want to get to next is actually recording and playback. I've started on it, but it's not finished yet. It's not fully functional. So I want to get started on that. Try to get it into as much of a working state as possible. And then I should be able to actually start doing some tasking. Very rough tasking. I'd still have to, of course, implement the ghetto safe state system that I talked about earlier that isn't really safe states uh, to make it easier. Um, but I can technically record task inputs and play them back. So anyway, that's it. I will see you guys later.